Hello my lovely viewers, it is me, Aspen, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Before we get started with today's episode, I would like to remind you all, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and also smash that like button if you haven't already, and let's get started. Last episode we built this amazing starter house, and today's episode I really want to focus on making our mind much better, more prettier, and more useful. And hello Carl, how did you sleep? Oh, look at you, you and your little pretty uh, little shawl. Oh, it's so pink and beautiful with the confetti. Anyways, uh, I think this is a good time to actually check our mailbox and see if we got any mail. So, let's see. <gasps> oh, we did! We got some mail! Okay, um, let's see what we have here. Oh, what such lovely comments! Oh my goodness, oh! I have to show these to Carl. Carl, come look at these comments. Look at what our fans sent us. Oh my goodness. Oh, Carl. Oh, um, okay. Um, I guess he just doesn't want to see him right now. I'll, I'll show them to him later. But other than that, we should probably start focusing on getting our mind done. But first, we need to collect some more supplies. Meaning that, Carl, I can't hang out with you today, which means we're going to have to reschedule our awesome picnic. And also, I would like to check and see if he's still here. Yep, the Wandering Trader is still here and still roaming our land without a permit. Okay, we're just going to leave him to do that. But for now, I guess what we can do is check off one of our to-do list items, which is get some more wood and other materials. So, let's get started. Well, there goes my axe. Uh, do I have a new one? No, I don't. Okay, hang in there, folks. Just give me a minute. Okay, let's get this done quick, fast, in a hurry. Let's put this away, and let's get out our minerals from our mineral barrel. Let's get some iron. We already have sticks, so all we have to do is place down our crafting table and put this here, and then we can finally make our new axe. Perfect. Okay, now I just have to take this out of the way, and also I need to put this away. I'm going to have to do something with those uh, amethyst shards here real soon. And also, is it getting dark? Oh, it is getting dark out. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get ready for bed. Yep, let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, that is a, oh, that's a weird glitch. Okay, here we go. See you guys in the morning. Okay, now that I have my new axe, I can finally finish taking down the rest of this tree. And I don't think I'm going to get the other tree down just yet because I think I already have enough. Okay, so that was fun and interesting. Um, also, by the way, I'd like to mention that this flower texture pack that I put in looks really amazing. I like what it did with the flowers. What I don't like is what it did with the grass blocks. So I think I'm going to kind of leave this up to you guys. Like, if you want the flower texture pack, then let me know in the comments. And Carl, did you just do magic? Did you just teleport on me? Okay, apparently Carl is a magical llama and he did not tell me. Okay, let's put this away and also put this away. And I think we're good. Okay, first thing on the agenda is that we have to make the mine much more taller and much more wider. That way we have more room to actually improve and improvise with uh, building this entire mine and making it more pretty. So I guess let's just get started. Okay, that process is now officially completed. We just got done winding everything, and now everything is more spacious, it's more easier to do things, and we'll be able to do a lot with all this. Uh, but for now, I'm trying to wait on my stone uh, to finish smelting, because we're going to need that for stone bricks and uh, stone stairs. Because what I want to do is I want to make a staircase going down so it's much more easier than having to just jump blocks over and over again. And I want to make sure it's all textured with like cobble and andesite and all that. 
Um, but other than that, I think while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to take my copper blocks and I want to sort of like use them as like little indicators on where I want to put the support beams or like very much like the entrance areas to certain parts of the mine. So I think I'm going to put one right here and then one right here to symbolize the entrance. And then we can try and space it out at least by three. Yeah, three. We'll do three. Okay, so let's just put one right here and put one right here. And then boom and boom. And then we'll just keep doing that. So I think I'm just going to speed up this process. Okay, doing a quick check to see where we are with time, and where's the sun? Okay, the sun's there. I think we can try and finish this. Okay, so I just completed that side, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head to bed so that we can switch shit from night to day so no monsters spawn and kill me. And then I'll finish that other side, and then we can try and focus on the bottom uh, area where we separate our staircases. So I'm just going to head to bed. Another day and another task we got to complete. I am ready to do this. So basically, I just realized that I forgot to show you guys something. So there's this little part in this mine area that I want to be like separated. So there's going to be like two separate staircases going down to like bedrock level. And I'm having trouble trying to align all of the beams together because as you can see, they're not even. So what I have to do is I'm trying to figure out how I can do this because it's not going to line up properly with my original mine, which is not good for me. So I'm thinking I might have to throw around some ideas and try and figure something out with this so it actually works. Um, but I think for now, we'll just leave this alone and we'll try and finish the other side of the beams. Okay, and we are finished with placing those down. Now I can try and put in my staircase, which means I have to go check on the stone that was smelting. And we also have to convert them into staircases and also stone brick blocks. Uh, but I think what's... Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm still worrying about that whole um, small section where we're going to separate the staircases from. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um... If we don't figure it out this episode, I'm sure I'll just do it off camera or something, or I'll just try to figure something out, like, next episode. But as long as I get something done that actually makes this look a little bit better, I think we'll be fine. So, let's check on the stone. Also, um, let's see. Okay, 46 is done, and then we have, oh, a stack, perfect. So, I guess let's go use our stone cutter, which is, uh, upstairs, and then we can create our, oh, no, door. <laughs> okay, let's go make our stone bricks and let's go make our stairs. So, okay, then we can place this in there. And let's do the stairs. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I did not know we could do that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. We have all three types of stairs that we need and I think we're ready to go. I knew texturing the staircase was a good idea. This is amazing. I absolutely love what I did with this, and I feel like it's more natural, especially towards the fact that we're going deep down into the mines. 
So now all we have to do is focus on this. The whole entire mess that could possibly ruin this project. Um, I think what I want to do is, first off, I want to try and uh, start making this a little bit more wider. Try and take out some blocks and see what I can work with as, like, space-wise. And then, um, I gotta figure this out. How am I gonna cover all this up? How am I gonna realign my old mind with all this? Oh, god. Okay, so, um, let's try and make this a little bit more wider, because I want to have two separate staircases. Um, we're also gonna have to bring this up a little bit more. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. <laughs> Thank goodness I made more. Okay, um, let's take all this up. And then, I think we can... Take all this out, and then we can also, we can also take all this out, uh, too. So we can make, like, a perfect square, and we can see what we can do with that, uh, little box. And also, I just took a chunk out of the wall that I didn't need to. Oh, we're gonna have to fix that. Okay, um, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, the, the, the mine right there is the one that I originally made, and when I make this, it's not gonna align properly, because I have to bring it all the way over here and cover all of this. So this is going to be really interesting on how I do this. Also, let's cover uh, that up. Um, I know it looks really messy and I know it looks like, oh, like an eyesore. It's a, it's a complete eyesore to me and to probably you guys. But I promise I'm going to fix it. It's, it's going to look amazing afterwards. I don't know. How I'm going to fix it, I don't know how I'm going to make it look amazing, but I promise you, I will. I will have to put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this, but I'm sure I will prevail. Uh, let's see, I'm going to take this out a little bit, because I feel like I want to take a staircase going down this way. Yeah, right, this way. And then the other staircase will just go down the same way that we went with our original mine. So let's just bring all of this up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed this up, make it a time lapse, so I'm not going to bore you guys with all this dialogue and us just mining nonstop. Okay, so I took some time off camera and I just decided to fix up the path a little bit and also add a little bit of coarse dirt around the main area of the mine. And I also added a few little petals and grass and so on and so forth. It pretty looks, it looks pretty nice, I will admit that. And also, I will say this, I did create an outline of what I wanted to do for the mine. And I'm going to do a castle tower. So this is going to be the castle tower right here made out of stone. And then over here is going to be like a little mine shack where all of my furnaces are. And then down here I finished most of the, most of the support beams along with the, uh, what else? Also taking out the mines as well. Um, so everything down here is pretty much done. Oh, and also I made sure that I have access to all of my strip mines. So everything's pretty good. Um, except for down here, like I said, I did not finish like this part area right here. So uh, I'm gonna have to probably do that later uh, when I get more uh, wood and more supplies for that. But for now, I really wanna focus on getting the whole outside of the mine done and it's all pretty and so on and so forth. So I think I'm just going to get that done, get that complete, and I'm pretty sure afterwards we can try and go mining because I really want to go get some more diamonds. Oh, and I also need to cut these with my stone cutter. One minute. Okay, so I'm going to need to get these all cut and ready so that I can actually build up the tower part of the mine. So I need, uh, I'm going to need some stairs. And I'm also going to probably need some slabs here in the future. Um, I'm probably going to get those later. But for now, I'm just probably going to deal with this part. How many do I need? Um, you want eight? So let's be safe. Let's do 12. Um, okay, I think we're good. Uh, I think we're ready to do this. So I guess we could just start building this up. Maybe I'm just going to do a time lapse. Who knows? Hmm. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, we'll just have to see when I'm editing later. But for now, um, let's just put this one here. And jump here. And then we also have to put one here. And then we also have to um, put them on the top here. Just like that. 
And then we also have to do it on the sides as well. So we could do that. Jump up and get that. And then I don't think I need one for there. Maybe I might need one for there. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to put one here. And if I have to move it later, I'll move it later. But for the most part, it looks great. Okay, uh, so let's just fill this out. And we can do stone bricks. Stone bricks all around here. And then I'm going to take the stone and just add a little bit of texturing around the areas. So it's not just stone bricks. Uh, perfect. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole basis of it. And it looks pretty good for the most part. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the rest of this. And also do not judge me for not having a shovel. Mine broke and I haven't had the resources or time to make a new one. But I promise I will get that done here in a minute. Um, okay, let's get this out of the way. And... Hmm. Come on. Hmm. Oh, I hate punching dirt with my hands. You know what, I think I'm just going to do a time lapse. I think it's going to be much easier for this... Okay, I'm now done. I'm just quickly just taking this little staircase I made with my planks out of the way just so we can finally see the finished product. Um, but yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. I also decided to add in the amethyst, am the, 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 sorry, amethyst blocks uh, that I've been saving in my chest for a while. They've just been cluttering everything up. Um, but for the most part, it actually looks pretty great. And I think I'm just gonna go mining now. Okay, so I thought that I would start recording real quick for just a minute just to show you guys something. So, um, it's been about an hour and a half since I've started mining and, um, everything's been going pretty well for the most part. However, I did find a few things that may have taken some interest that we could use in the future. So, um, if we go down here, here's the first one, um, we found another, uh, geode. <laughs> so, um... The best thing about this is that I'm not going to be um, having to use, like, the one that I found in the middle of the ocean on, like, the first episode. So I could just use this and I can create, like, a little uh, amethyst shard mine out of it. And I don't have to worry about, you know, going too far away or pretty much having to deal with any other issues. And what is next? I also have to show you guys something that is going to um, <laughs> shock you. Okay, so if we go down here, just uh, real quick, checking to see that there's no mobs. I mean, I lit the place up pretty well, I'd say, but you can never be too cautious. But anyways, um, if you go down here and, um, you know, one minute, just making sure it's not too dark. And you look down here, um, you can see that there is, um, yeah, that that's, um, yeah, that's definitely something that we have never, ever dealt with before in any kind of Minecraft version at all. So this is my first time actually coming up with one of these. And I don't know what I'm going to do because, um, yeah, I, I've heard that the warden, the warden mob is a uh, pretty, uh, you know, pretty tough, you know, a very hard mob to beat. And um, if you would look and see, I have iron armor and iron tools. There's no way that that is going to help me. So before I even think about going down there and trying to loot the chests and try to take the warden on, I have to try and get better armor. And I'm thinking maybe like diamond or maybe even we might have to get netherite. So I'm just going to head up here 
And I think we're just going to leave that alone for a little while until we, you know, are properly prepared. Uh, but as for that, I think it's just time to head up. Okay, I just slept and it's now morning again. Hallelujah. Um, everything seems to be doing pretty great so far except for the creeper out there. And, oh, I have to show you something. Uh, I found five more diamonds. Yay me. <laughs> um, it's, it's not a lot, but we'll get more soon. With the mine all complete and ready, I'd say that this marks the end of the episode, and I can't wait to see you guys next time.